Okay, here we have a fun problem, and we have a cylinder that's packed inside a box, right? So here you can see the cylinder packed right inside this box right here. We want to find the radius and height of the can. So I guess we're calling this cylinder a can. Yes, it's a cylindrical can. So what's the radius and what's the height of the can? Then we want to find the volume of the empty space between the can and the box. So you put this, if you know, if you put a circle inside a rectangular prism or a cylinder inside a rectangular prism, there's going to be these little gaps of space here, right, on each side. And what we want to do in this case is find the volume of those gaps. So those gaps, they extend all the way down here to the bottom on every side. What's the volume of that area, um, of that space? And then in C, we'll find the ratio of the volume of the can to the volume of the box. And then D, make up a similar example with a can and a box of different sizes. What is the ratio of the volume of your can to the volume of your box? And how does this compare to, to this problem? So we have a couple of things going on. First, let's find the radius and height of the can. Well, since the can is fitting securely, they say, in, in other words, they mean perfectly, the height of this can should be the height of the prism. So it's also 10, right? So the height's 10. And here, this distance of 2, well, that's the, the length and width of this box. But on the bottom with the circle right here, if this is 2, then our diameter here is 2, right? Because it's going to be 2 all across. So our diameter is 2, but we want to find the radius. And diameter, right, divided by 2 is our radius. So we use our diameter of 2 divided by 2, and we get our radius is equal to 1. So we have a height of 10 and a radius of 1. Let me just fix the order here. So 1 is equal to the radius, and 10 is equal to the height. That's part A. Okay. What is the volume of the empty space between the can and the box? Well, this is a classic kind of problem. So first, we should find the volume of the box, which is going to be 2 times 10 times 2, right? Length times width times height. And that's going to give us, well, like 20 times 2. It's 40 cubic centimeters. And this is the volume of our box here, or our, our, I guess the box is holding our can. And then we want to find the volume of the cylinder. Well, the volume of the cylinder is going to be equal to the radius squared, which is 1 squared, or 1, times pi times the height. So 1 times pi is pi. Times the height of 10 is 10 times pi, or 10 pi. Now, 10 pi, we're going to estimate here, and you have to merely make a choice here of the estimation, but I'm going to say pi is about 3. So the volume of the cylinder is about 30 cubic centimeters. So it's less, right? And that, we, that makes sense because the cylinder fits inside the box. Okay, so what is the volume of the empty space? Well, <clears throat> if we take the volume of the entire box and subtract the volume of the cylinder, take this away, What's remaining are those spaces in between. So to find the, the, the volume of the empty space, we take the volume of the box right, and subtract the volume of the cylinder from that. So that's going to give us what? Well, the volume of the box is 40 cubic centimeters, and the volume of the cylinder is 30. So 40 minus 30 is 10. So here we get 10 cubic centimeters. That's the volume of our empty space. That's part, part B. Find the ratio of the volume of the can to the volume of the box. Well, the, the ratio of the volume of the can, right, volume of the can, or the cylinder I've been calling it, to the volume of the box is what? Well, I mean, here it's tricky because we estimated. So it's really 10 pi, right, to 40. That's the ratio. We estimate it as 30 to 40, but I think we might be better off sticking with this. So what do I multiply the cylinder by to get to get the or excuse me, what do I, what's the relationship here? Well it's really a, almost a three to four relationship. Almost. And they want us to test out other examples to see how that compares to this ratio. So what I might do is just quickly sketch it out. And let me just do a clean copy here. Okay. So what if I change this a little bit so it was 4, and this was not 10, but 20? Well, now what will happen? On the inner cylinder here, or the can, the radius is now 2, right? It's half of this diameter, and the height is 20. So the volume of, this, of the can, or the cylinder, or whatever we call it, is going to be 4 pi times 20, right? Or radius squared times pi times 20, and that's 80 pi. 
but what will the volume of the box equal here? This is the volume of our can. Well, the volume of the box is, is going to be 4 times 20 times 4. We're multiplying all those dimensions there. So the volume of the box, length times width times height, is basically 16 times 20, right? 4 times 4 times 20. If we calculate this on our calculator, 16 times 20, we get 320. Okay. okay, so now our new ratio is 80 pi, right, to 320. And before we had a 3 to 4 ratio. Well, what's 80 pi? It's, a, it's about what? Well, 3 times 8 is 24, so it's about 240 to 320. Now, if we, were, if we reduce this, divide both sides by 80, if I divide 240 by 80 to reduce, just like I would in a fraction, I could think of it like this, 240 over 320. Well, 240 divided by 80 is 3, and 320 divided by the same amount, divided by 80, is 4. So we still get this 3 to 4 ratio, this approximation. But still, there's more to it, because really, it's not 3 to 4, it's not in both cases. In both cases, here it's 80 pi to 320, and before it was 10 pi, right? Before it was, it was 10 pi to 40. So there's another connection here you can look at in terms of pi. What's happening? Well, here, look at these ratios. Well, really, this, this, is, this is a ratio here, and we can, we can reduce it even further, right? 10 pi to 40. Divide both sides by 10, and we get pi, right, to 4. And this ratio really is, is at the heart of the relationship, although it's very close to 3 to 4. It's really pi to 4. It's not identical. Um, and I'll, I'll leave it to you to think about what that might mean and, 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 and how to express that and how to carry this into other shapes, and maybe we'll get back to that later on. But thanks a lot.